Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. We have been designing this email subscription box from scratch for the last two videos. And uh, we had designed it completely using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we also added the mobile version of this. All right, so now it's time for us to add this to our Blogger website and make it work. So for that we'll be using FeedBurner from Google, which is a free service and uh, we'll be using that for the email subscription. Now there are better options than FeedBurner because a lot of bloggers have been reporting of bugs and issues with FeedBurner. So you can give it a try and see how it works for you and I'll show you how to use uh, FeedBurner in this video. Now one of the reasons that I'm showing you how to use FeedBurner is because it is free to use and the other thing is that it is integrated with the blogger platform so it is easy to set up. Now if you are ready to spend some money then you can go ahead and search for much better options than FeedBurner and you can search for email subscription services on Google and you'll find a lot of them. So you can go ahead and try that. For now I'll just show you how to use FeedBurner so let's get started. This is the website that we're going to add the email subscription box to and uh, here is uh, the dashboard of this uh, blogger website. Now let's go ahead and add the code to our website. So first of all let's go to theme and uh, then click on this arrow right here and then click on edit HTML. Now let's go all the way to the bottom of uh, the code and uh, just before the body ends we will add the HTML. Now since we have set the position of the email subscription box to be fixed, it doesn't matter where we add this code. If we add this to the top or to the bottom, it doesn't matter. You just have to add this inside the body tag. So we have to add it inside the body tag. Alright, so let's go to our uh, source code and uh, I'll leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And uh, let's go ahead and copy everything from here to here and we'll paste it over here and uh, we want to replace this form with the actual email subscription box so let's remove this form from here and uh, we'll just add a section so that we can add a widget inside that so we'll tap b colon section and we'll give it an id and I will just give it an ID of uh, email subscription section and uh, let's close the section over here and in this section we will add the widget and it's showing red over here that is because of uh, the image tag we need to close the image tag as well so let's type a forward slash over here now there is no folder called img inside the blogger theme so we have to upload the image somewhere and we have to add the link over here. So the best thing is that we will just upload the image to one of our pages inside our blogger website and we'll just add the link over here. Before doing that let's go ahead and add the CSS as well. So let's go to style.css and uh, we'll copy everything from here and uh, let's scroll up and see where all the CSS is located so this is where all the CSS is located let's go over here and uh, let's add a comment we'll type email subscription form right let's add the CSS right here right now let's uh, click on save And let's go back and uh, let's go to pages and uh, let's create a new page and we we'll just click on this uh, button called insert image and click on upload from computer and then click on choose files so here's the image that we had used let's select that and click on open and let's select this and click on select and uh, go over here to change and change this to the original size All right now let's go to the HTML view and here we can see the link of the image so this is the link of the image let's copy this from here and uh, let's go back and let's go to theme and 
and edit HTML. Let's go to the HTML of our email subscription. And instead of this, we will add the link of the image. Now you have to make sure that the Roboto font that we had used in our design is available on your website. So right now in this theme, I already have the Roboto font. Over here we can see that we have this Roboto font. But if you don't have this font on your website, by the way, this is a Google Chrome extension called What Font. So if you don't have the Roboto font installed on uh, your theme, then uh, you have to go over here to index.html and you have to copy this font link from here and uh, then you have to add that to the head of our theme right here inside this head and then the font will work. All right, now let's see whether something is displayed on our website. So let's save it and let's refresh our page and nothing is being displayed over here. So let's right click and click on inspect and if you scroll down, we can see that the email subscription overlay is displayed over here, but it is not displayed on our website. That's because uh, in our CSS, we had added some styles like background color of RGBA000 and the opacity we had set to zero. That's why it is not being displayed. So we have to add the active class. So since we have not added the JavaScript, let's add the active class directly on the HTML so that we can just test whether it works. So in the email subscription overlay, I will just add the active class as well. And let's click on save. And let's refresh our page. And it is still not being displayed. Let's right click and click on inspect. Let's see what is the problem. So here we already have the active class applied to this division. But on the right, we can see that the styles are not being applied. So there's some problems with the styles. Let's go back and uh, let's go to the styles. So the problem is that we hadn't closed this comment. So let's close this comment and let's try it once more. And now we can see that the email subscription box is being displayed. Now we need to add the form as well. So let's go back and uh, let's go to the dashboard. And let's go to layout and here we can see we have a new section called email subscription section that we just added. So let's click on add a gadget and just scroll down and you will find a gadget called follow by email. So just go ahead and click on this plus icon. And here we can see that it has automatically created this feed burner URL. So let's just click on save. And the widget has been added. So let's save it. Let's go back to our theme and uh, let's click on edit. Let's refresh this and see whether form is being displayed. And here we can see that the form is being displayed. Now we need to add the styles to this as well. So we have already added the styles. We just need to add the classes. So let's scroll down and uh, here's our widget called follow by email and uh, Let's make some changes in this. The first one is that we have to remove this widget title. So we don't want to display this follow by email title over here. So let's remove this. And let's see what more changes we need to do. So we need to change this placeholder text to your best email and get email notifications to subscribe now. So let's make those changes. Let's go back to the code and uh, here I'll just change this expression placeholder and uh, here instead of this I'll type your best email and for the value let's remove the expression from here as well and uh, here we will type subscribe now and we also need to add classes to the button and the input field so let's go back to the source code and uh, in the HTML here we can see for the input box we have this class called email input field and for the button we have this class called email submit button. So let's add both of those. So here we will add one more class called email input field and for the button we will add one more class called email submit button. Right, I think that's pretty much all the changes we need to do. So let's go ahead and click on save. 
and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see that our design is looking just as we wanted it to look now let's go ahead and uh, remove the active class from here and uh, let's add the javascript so here we'll create a script tag and here we'll add the javascript code so let's go back to the source code and let's copy this javascript code from here and paste it over here and uh, we'll just remove the active class from here All right so let's save this and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see that after five seconds the email subscription box has popped up and we had also added a local storage to show this only once so let's inspect and see whether it is being stored so go to application and click on this website and here we can see that our uh, local storage is being stored so now if we close this it won't be displayed again so let's go ahead and test using an email id so i'll just type live blogger test at gmail.com so let's click on subscribe now and it will open this uh, window over here let's click on i'm not a robot and uh, let's click on complete subscription request and it says your request has been accepted and uh, we have to check the inbox for the verification and uh, then it will be completed so let's log into our email all right so i have logged into my gmail account and here you can see the email for the activation let's click on that and we have to click on this link for activating and it says email subscription confirmed so let's close this out and let's see whether we can see this subscriber in our feed burner so you have to go to this website called feedburner.google.com and here you can see all your blogs and all the subscribers and all of those and you can find a lot of details about your subscribers and uh, your email list so right now we have the name of our website over here and it says zero subscribers now it takes some time for feedburner to update the subscribers list so it will be updated after some time so after that you can see the number of subscribers over here and if you click on this you can see all the stats over here like when was the subscriber subscribed and how many subscribers are there and a lot of information about the subscribers will be displayed over here and we can see some options over here you can go ahead and explore these right now i cannot explore these because uh, it is not updated yet right so that's basically how you add uh, this uh, feed burner email subscription box to your blogger website so we had designed this completely from scratch and this is our custom design and we integrated it using feed burner and we have subscribed using this email id so if you go back to our email we can see that as soon as your subscription is active feed burner will send a daily email message if live blogger test has new content so whenever you add a new post to your blog the subscriber will get an email and in this way you can connect back with your subscribers so that's basically it for this video i hope that you found this useful and if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day